Hello everyone, this is Beauty. Welcome to our new video series, Exploring Injection Molding Defects. In this episode, we'll learn about one of the most common injection molding defects, gauge defects. In injection molding, each cavity in a mold must contain a small opening called a gate. This gate allows plastic to enter the cavity. After ejecting the finished product, workers will trim up the screw, rounder, and excess plastic remains in the gate area. Usually, most gates leave a barely noticeable vestige. However, when plastic parts have significant marks at the gate location, they are classified as defective. There are three common problematic gate marks, cold slag, jetting, and gate flash. Cold slag appears as a foggy discoloration of bright spots near the gate, primarily due to melt fracture. As plastic flows through the gate into the mold, the outer contact section forms a solidified layer. Continued plastic flow creates shell stress between the outer solid layer and the inner molten plastic. Accelerated by rapid solidification and fast filling speeds, resulting in melt fracture. These fractured plastics, adhering to the mold surface, create cold slag at the gate. To prevent the cold slag, the best is to reduce the shell stress around the gate area. Here are some structures. 1. Increase the gate size to decrease plastic flow shell rate. 2. Raise mold temperature to delay solidified outer layer formation. 3. Lower initial injection speed. 4. Design an effective cold slug wheel to manage cooling rate differences. Next, we will explore its jetting. Jetting typically results from three main factors. High injection speed, a small gate or incorrect gate position. When molten plastic flows quickly through a small gate into a wide open area, it shoots out in a straight line. Even after the bleeding plastic stops, the training plastic continues pushing forward, forming a wavy slip line pattern loss as check. How to prevent jetting? 1. Increase the gate size to decrease the speed of injected plastic. 2. Adjust the gate position to avoid direct flow into an open area. 3. Utilize a fan gate or tap gate to guide the plastic flow more uniformly into the mold. Finally, gate blast. When the mold or material temperature is too low, the plastic solidifies quickly upon entering the gate, creating a solidified layer. As the plastic continues to fill the mold, the training plastic forms falling, pushes through the already solidified ground, causing or blending patterns of color and glow differences. Well, how to prevent gate flash? One, increase the mold or melted plastic temperatures. Two, design an appropriate cold slug well. Three, select a suitable gauge size and positions. Side gas and overlap gas are generally better than top gas for preventing gate blast. Okay, that's a comprehensive analysis of gate mark effects and their solutions. If you require professional assistance with your project, our expert injection molding team is available to help. Contact us now. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you next time.